What's happening guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you an easy way and cheap way to buy Matic on Polygon Network. So today I wanted to buy some UBT which is a token on the um, Ethereum network um, but it's also available now on the Matic network which is a token that I'm personally interested in, in buying because I haven't seen much um, movement on the, the price of UBT and UBT is a very good project in my uh, humble opinion right so I wanted to come here on the quick swap because it's listed here and it's uh, if I w I love Uniswap but Uniswap right now if I want to do a trade there I would have to pay this crazy ga gas uh, prices on Ethereum which went up again and I don't want to do that I want to pay uh, on Matic Network because it's a fraction of a dollar to me for me to buy any token on quick swap right and also uh, i'm personally working on this project which is an nftr.io which is a uh an nft uh, factory where you can create an nft and a marketplace where you can buy and sell nfts uh on the polygon network um so i'm interested in buying more polygon more matic so i can use this website we just launched this website on the mainnet um, if you want to participate in airdrop, I'm going to put the link in the description for this form right here. And it shows you how you can participate on a, a token airdrop that's going to happen around July, beginning of July. Okay, so um, first thing, you're going to need to have a Matic configured on your MetaMask wallet, right? So um, I, I have it configured. Well, one of the ways on NFT yard we have uh, down here on the help, you can click click on somewhere else, like my assets, going to help. It shows you how to configure uh, MetaMask on your wallet in docs. Also, you have that information. You can create in docs, configure your wallet. Uh, also, another way to do that is going to uh, chainlist.org and look for Matic and click on connect wallet that's going to connect your MetaMask to uh, Matic Network. That's the first thing you need to do, right? So I have zero Matics here. Uh, how I'm going to buy Matic directly on um, Polygon is through this ramp. There's a button here called Buy Matic on uh, NFTR.io. Buy Matic or even in a wallet, you have this option to buy wallet, uh, buy Matic. I'm going to click on Buy Matic and I want to buy hundred and thirty dollars uh worth of a matic right so it's going to cost me three dollars to run this it's dollars right it's, there's a brazilian uh, flag here because my uh i've already used this so it knows i am um coming from brazil my my uh card is from brazil so i'm gonna buy this much uh, basically 130 dollars and uh, i'm gonna proceed my email is already there because I already did it. So basically, if you if it's your first time here, we're gonna have to go through like um, uh, you know create your account and a quick um, KYC. For the first time, when I did it, actually took me about one hour to get verified for for you to have an idea, right? So if it's your first time, you wanna use a credit card to buy um, crypto and pay only like I don't know, I'm gonna pay right now it's three dollars and sixty six cents I think to buy. Um, basically 136 Matic. So basically I'm gonna spend uh, $130 to, to get this much Matic. So I'm gonna click on proceed. My wallet's already there, but if, you, if your wallet's not already configured there, you copy the wallet right here and paste it right there. Right, so, and then confirm. So I already have my MasterCard uh, credit card or debit card configured there. It's gonna charge me $3.16 16 cents to do this transaction but if you don't have you can go through card right there and do it the same thing and it's gonna you know register your card proceed again press buy now and let's see how long it's gonna take basically it's going through authorization it's asking for my code and i'm gonna put my code here i click on proceed and now it's going to confirm 
with my um, bank account. I need to you know, give it a go, say yes or no on my app here. Well, each bank is different on that matter. So it's, okay, so it basically tells me that it went through, all done. We received your payments and we are running final checks. Some transactions take a few hours to confirm, especially if it's your first time purchase. So it's not my first time, I already did one. So like I said, the first time I did, it took about an hour. Uh, so it's uh, 12, 15, 12, 16 right now. I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take to for them to approve my this, this transaction. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and see how long it takes. Okay, so I'm coming back here a little later and I see that the Matic is in my wallet now. Uh, one way to verify when it got here is you just click on a wallet. It's gonna take you to the uh, blockchain explorer. It was basically 14 minutes ago, this transaction where I received from the uh, ramp website. So now I have uh, some Matic on my uh, wallet and that's on uh, Polygon, right, on the Matic network. Uh, it took some time, right? So uh, I'm not sure why it took so long this time, but uh, it was, a th I don't remember, three hours maybe. Um, but yeah, so now it's in my wallet. I'm uh, ready to buy whatever I want. I wanted to buy Unibright. Um, I see I was looking at this UBT ETH actually. And the price has fallen even more, which is good. Actually, it's losing on uh, this support over here. But um, I think that I'm I'm gonna go ahead and buy on QuickSwap. I'm gonna exchange uh, some Matic for UBT. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get like uh, 50 UBT here. Um, about 97 Matic, you can see that um, it's gonna cost me just a little bit. Basically, the transaction fee is this much in Matic. Um, I'm gonna send it over, like I'm gonna push it. While it's doing it, we can see how much actually um, this is gonna cost me to transfer from Matic to UBT. So Matic, um, you can see that this is how much it costs. Like, a, so one cent would be over here. It's like a fraction. It's a very small amount to do this this uh, swap, right? And it's confirmed. Now I have 50 UBT on my wallet. Okay, that's it. That's what I had to share for today. I hope that it was informative, and I'll see you next time.